friends, Andy Vegan with a new salad. I make a romaine today that is a fresh and crunchy leaf um, with a, uh, a firm leaf and with high nutrients. It has a little bit more stronger flavor than other lettuces. Um, I like it. It's very high in nutrients compared to other le lettuces. Maybe the most <laughs> nutrient dense lettuce. <clears throat> And I went to, uh, to die, so that means, so that it's crunchy, that means I can pair it with ingredients that I cannot use usually in carrot, in salads so easy. I have carrots, apples, and hazelnuts. I come to that in a moment. First I make the dressing, and that is a curry dressing. And I have a, uh, this, this time is a little bit more complex curry dressing, not just uh, what I, the, the, basic, uh, the basic version would be here, cashews and lemon, handful of cashews, Half a lemon, that's usual my ratio. Uh, handful of cashews, half a lemon, and pepper and salt. That will be basic with curry. But now, here pepper and salt, yeah, a teaspoon each, a larger tablespoon of curry powder. Now I have it with garlic and ginger. A nice piece of ginger, you see. This is a ginger root, it's a nice chunk and one clove of garlic. Yeah. So that's a little bit more refined now. The curry powder has a lot of spices in itself. It is usually, it's a, most of the, uh, the most important, the color comes from the turmeric. That's the yellow color. And there are other ingredients, like chili can be in there. Many other ingredients that depends. They're always different, but turmeric is the most important. Chili is there, sometimes pepper. I don't go into detail now. You can make your own curry or buy it. I have a flavor that is a brand that's called Indian curry. It's medium hot. Some are more hot, some are less hot. Sweeter curry uh, um, um, brands are there. It's all oh, you're like, I like this kind of Indian curry. It's called just a name. Um, that is the main um, uh, flavor now here, refined with garlic and ginger, as I said. I guess that's pretty nice. And they put it. Um, Half a cup of water to begin, and not too much. The dressing can be creamy a little bit with that firm leaf of the romaine. Blender dance. <laughs> yellow color. The fragrance also nice. There is of course the garlic a little bit and the ginger that's in the fragrance. Very strong spices here. Mm. Mm, very nice flavor. <coughs> Let it sit for a while and I will combine the main ingredients of the salad now. So here's a salad bowl and as I said, uh, show you before the the romaine, that is a, a small head of romaine, a very small head. I just uh, washed the leaves, took them off, and just cut them into stripes, the strips. They can be broad, they don't need to be too thin. So, So this is the base of a salad. See, uh, it's a nice portion. Yeah. And then I have two more ingredients, two more main ingredients. That is an apple, as I said before, and a carrot. Apples and carrots are perfected together. In a carrot juice, for example, to make it delicious, I put an apple in there. It's a classic. And together with romaine, this is a romaine salad, is a little bit more, a little more bitter than a regular lettuce. Bitter that means also more nutrients. And um, this bitterness that was very nice with sweet and um, sour, the apple and the carrot. Carrot is high in sugar, and together with the apple, 
it gets sweet. Yeah? The sweetness of the carrot comes out. We combine it with um, sour sweet fruit, for example, or lemon. And that's why carrot and apple are so nice together too. Uh, the crunchy texture is also similar. Carrot is hard. Um, apple is crispy, but still a little bit firm. So that balances each other out together with a romaine that's perfect. So this is the main ingredients, three, very simple. And I will go back to my dressing now. It, ha it might have um, uh, thickened up a little bit because the cashews are soaking. You know what? I'd like a little bit more of salt. Yeah. Just a little bit salt. <clears throat> Just um, half a teaspoon more salt. Um, one more blend. again. Now it's more creamy because the cashews have soaked and they, the particles of the cashew they, they, so they, they get bigger and then they can be caught by the blades more easily so they get a little bit more creamy. Yeah, that was just missing. You know, salt, using the salt not so much as a, as a, as a spice, the salt is something that enhances the flavor of the other ingredients a lot because the salt um, that takes on water yeah and um, then the water makes everything um, flow everywhere around the taste buds and that's why salt uh, is so important also for the for the flavoring because seasoning because if you have a um, the perfect amount of salt and the flavors of the other ingredients are really perfectly balanced. If you have a little bit too much salt, everything is ruined. If you have a little bit too little salt, then it doesn't really taste full. So having the right, right amount of salt, it has something to do with the chemical um, um, properties of the salt. Salt is also important, very important for our life because the cells, you know, they have the membranes, and the water and the substances need to go in and out of the, uh, through the membranes, that's very important, and the salts make that possible. If you have more salt, the water comes in, if you have less salt, the water goes out. That's why the salt is, um, yeah, it's, it's important in life, it's a kind of, uh, question of life and death if you have enough salt or not. Salt was, before our days, salt was uh, gold, very expensive. And now it's everybody has salt here in the Western culture, not so expensive. But this is one of the reasons because people need salt so bad, so 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 um, so so badly. That's why salt is so important, and it, it is also in the kitchen. It's a very important substance uh, to balance out the flavors. So I, I put just a little bit of salt. You see the creamy dressing now, more into the dressing, and that made the difference. So that is not um, just a. Just a fancy thing that all the chefs know that that the, the right amount of salt the perfect amount of salt is very crucial to find and um, you don't need to take salt of course we have a lot of salt in the in the ingredients by themselves already so we don't need to eat that amount of salt but if you take the salt in the seasoning then then you have to use it really with a very nice tongue with a nice taste buds so now i will, I will um, toss it in there a little bit yeah, the firm leaves of the lettuce, of the romaine lettuce, allow me to toss it right away. Yeah, it can sit for a moment, it doesn't really matter. If I have a very tender leaf here, I would toss it only directly before I eat it, where I serve it. But with the romaine, it can be a little bit more easy. Yeah. So this is, um, it looks wonderful, it tastes great, and to top it, I have uh, prepared some high hazelnuts, just high hazelnuts. I guess they are wonderful together with this um, sour flavor of the apples and the carrots. That is a perfect combination. So I put them on top. And this is what I have now. This is my lunch. And isn't that beautiful? It's a nice portion. I will definitely feel um, complete and will keep for a while. 
until maybe later in the day I might have another maybe a piece of cake a raw cake I have something in the fridge from recently maybe that would be a rounding up a day and if I still want something later it might be some fruit or so but uh, after this there's not much needed anymore thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed if so thumbs up maybe you would like to subscribe and be on YouTube then you have another recipe every single day and you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.